Tsiolkovsky didn't just believe space travel was possible, he believed it was necessary. Before Parsons, NASA, or the Nazis, another conception of human purpose, one tied to our place in the universe, was emerging in late 19th century Russia, something we now call Russian cosmism. It began with a librarian and philosopher named Nikolai Fyodorov, who believed the true task of humanity and Christianity was not to await resurrection, but to cause it. He believed that one day, technology would allow us to resurrect every human who had ever lived, and that once death was defeated, humanity's next task would be to colonize the cosmos. Among those most influenced by Fyodorov and his ideas was a deaf, self-taught young man named Konstantin Tsiolkovsky. He would become known as the father of Russian spaceflight. Tsiolkovsky didn't just believe space travel was possible, he believed it was necessary. He saw humanity as part of a cosmic process, destined to leave Earth and populate the stars. 